but uh, you can see what happened in gold in terms of the limit order, but can anybody see it? Usually you get one side high, one side low, but what happened here? What was this? What took place during that phase there on gold? Both liquidity was high, wasn't it? You see it? Is that not dead obvious, Paul? If I draw a line through the charts and do the average, so basically I'm trying to find the mid price of the two lines. What does the mid price of the two lines look like? Well, of course, we can we can zoom in a little bit and we can do the mid price. So I'm just going to draw the mid price. So I'm drawing the mid price and I'm trying to stay maybe as a as as a as an average, right? I'm trying to keep it as an average and trying to understand this idea. So it dropped there and it rallied back up here again. And from that point onwards, the mid price in terms of volatility, volumes rather, was about here. And then we started to see this increase here, didn't we? We saw an increase there. And then the mid price, we had a decrease during that period there. And then we had a big increase during that period there. So it's the mid price, remember. And then from that point onwards, I think we could probably just draw a straight kind of line through that phase. But what I'm trying to show you is what happened here. With a very, very sizable rally into that liquidity at the top edge up here, didn't we? There was a very, very sizable gain in in, uh, in liquidity. And, and obviously, when we look at the two big gains in liquidity, we can start marking off those areas on the screens, right? We can start marking off those areas on the screens. And the two big gains in liquidity were there, which happened to be the lowest possible price, and there, which happened to be the highest possible price. So we can start recognizing those elements when we're trading, can't we? We can start understanding a little bit more about those pieces of that uh, simple bit of jigsaw puzzle.